In this video, we'll look at state transition testing. In state transition testing, a transition between states gets initiated by some type of event. The event results in the transition between states. If the same event results in two or more transitions, then we can use a qualifier or a guard condition. The state change may result in the software taking an action. For example, displaying a success message or displaying an error message or outputting a value. A state transition table shows all the valid transitions and potentially invalid transition between states as well as the events, any guard conditions, and the resulting actions for valid transitions. State transition diagrams normally show only the valid transitions and excludes the invalid transitions. Tests can be designed to cover a typical sequence of states to exercise all the states and to exercise every transition, to exercise specific sequences of transitions or to test invalid transitions. State transition testing is typically used for menu-based applications and is quite often used within the embedded software industry. State transition testing technique is also suitable for modeling business scenarios or, for example, screen navigation that have specific states. The concept of state is an abstract one. So it may actually represent a few lines of code in the product all the way to an entire business process. In state transition testing, coverage is typically measured as the number of identified states or transitions tested divided by the total number of identified states or transitions in total in the test object. And this is normally expressed 